today I'm going to talk about a an external module. It's called the bar. It's called barcodes, uh, and it I think it's relatively new, right, Terry? I think you installed it maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago, or January or something. Like that. No, I installed it a few weeks ago. A couple, okay. two, maybe only two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, I figured it was relatively new. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to enable in a module. Um, we always kind of skip over this part uh, and I kind of explain it briefly, but we'll start uh, and actually install it. So um, here in the available modules, you can either scroll down on the list or just type barcodes and it'll be here. Uh, I'm going to open up the link for the documentation as well. And we'll hit enable. Uh, and then here in the configuration, there's nothing to configure. Um, you don't have to do anything here. It's just an action tag. And while I'm in this view here, uh, Terry had brought this up to me last week that um, this button exists now in the external modules. And if you click on this, it brings up the action tags for all of the action tags that are available and not just the ones that are built into REDCap, but all the ones that are included in any of the um, external modules that we have available on REDCap, whether they're enabled or not. So for example, this Dymo labels here um, uses um, an action tag, or I think there's an action tag that's supposed to be here, but it's missing. But this autofill form um, is for the external module autofill. Um, and so you can see here that these are all the options for uh, autofill. And then when you get down to like, so here's barcodes choice columns, form completion check. So if you're looking for something, um, if you're in the form designer and you click on the action tags button, it only shows you the action tags that are in REDCap and the ones that are um, installed by um, external modules that you've enabled. So this will show you all of the action tag possibilities. So then you can see something that you might like and then go and enable that, that module uh, so you can use that action tag. There's quite a few of them. Um, so I'm going to close that now. And let me just pull this up to the other window here. Um, to make this easier, I just created a little uh, survey to explain the module. So the barcodes external module transforms text fields into barcode values on data entry forms and surveys. Uh, it it the barcode will be shown instead of the input element, which is kind of weird. Um, there's, It's not like you type in the value and then it converts to a barcode. If you have an input field and you load a form, it's going to show as a barcode value. And there's like placeholders or start and stop um, values for a barcode. You'll see when we get into it. Um, so if you want to have a value, if you want to be able to type in a value and then have it output as a barcode, then you kind of have to use the piping, um, not necessarily the piping, but you have to use the uh, calc text or calc date action tags to grab that value from another field and pull it into the field that you're using for the barcode. So the only requirement for this is that you use uh, RedCap 14.0 or newer. So anybody on YouTube that's watching this, if they have an older red cap version uh, that's below 14.0, they're not gonna be able to use this. Um, now the action tag for barcodes is really simple. Uh, you just do at barcodes. Now, one thing to note in the documentation here, let me pull that back in. One thing to note is that in the action tag or the, in the, uh, documentation, it has the action tag as barcode, um, and that's incorrect. So that was driving me nuts because when I was building this demo, it wasn't working. And luckily, when I went into the action tag and, or in the designer and clicked on the action tag button, that um, that I showed you in the, the external modules, that really came in handy because then I could see what the actual action tag is, and it's barcodes, plural. Um, so that then I was able to build the demo. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're looking at the documentation uh, that it is barcodes plural. So there's four things that we can um, set 
with this action tag. So the first thing is the type, and that's the type of the barcode that we want to generate. Uh, the options are code 39, code 39 extended, code 128, the EAN UPC, uh, QR code, or a data matrix code. Um, and these are the values that you would type in for um, this type uh, keyword here. So you would type code 39 or code 39 extended. And the EAN UPC is together like that with the slash. Um, the next thing is text. So if you want to bark, if you just want the barcode, uh, you would just put the type there. But if you want the text underneath the barcode, so you want the barcode and then the like whatever that value for the barcode, you just type text underneath it. You just type the word text. That's it, like that. And there's a space in between these two. So these two kind of go together. Um, so it's the type of the barcode and then whether you want text or not. And the uh, for the EAN UPC, the text is always displayed. So you don't have to add that for those uh, barcodes. Next is the size. So this is how big you want your barcode to be. And the default sizes for the code 29 and code 128 are 48 pixels high. And the EAN and the 2D barcodes, uh, QR code and data matrix, those are 128 pixels high. So you would just put an integer number. So if you want your QR code to be big and like 300 pixels, you would just type 300 there. And you separate these by a comma. The only one you don't separate by a comma is this type text um, because those go together as a pair. And then the last thing is if you want that barcode to be a clickable link on the survey or the entry form, then you would just add a capital L after this for the link. And this is only for QR codes and data matrix codes only. Um, so for example, if you want a code 39, that showed the text and you wanted it to be a height of 75 pixels, this is the action tag that you would type in for that input field. Um, if you want a QR code that's 200 pixels and has a clickable link, then this is what you would type in, QR comma 200 comma L. Um, and then one thing I need to uh, make sure I mention is this won't work for PDFs or emails or notifications or anything like that. Um, it's only for data entry forms and surveys because everything happens in the browser for this uh, module. So uh, let me refresh this just to make sure that the code is enabled and we'll get to the barcodes. So this is what I meant when I said that some barcodes, uh, this is like their native format. So this is like this, this is the start code and end code. Um, so the barcode reader knows that uh, whatever's within these bars is a barcode value. So these are there by default. Um, and then you can see here, same thing for the um, QR codes. So I'm just gonna type in a value here and then tab out. And then you can see here that the barcodes have uh, populated. So, and the reason I picked eight is because that's um, one of the values for this UPC. Uh, if you have there's certain lengths that apply to the EAN UPC codes, and I'll show you that in a minute. And if you don't have, like for example, if you have seven, it's not gonna work because it's not the proper format. And the documentation goes more into depth about that um, and has some links for generating proper formats and, and like if you need to learn about uh, what an EAN UPC and that stuff is. Um, so here you can see I have code, and this is the action tag that I have for this field is barcodes code 39 text. Um, this is barcode thir code 39 extended text. And on the documentation, it explains, goes into more detail about, or has a link rather, that explains the difference between code 39 and code 39 extended. Um, this one is 128 text. So if I don't have the text after this code, if it's just code 128, it'll just show the barcode. It won't show the text down here. Um, and then we have the uh, EAN UPC. And EAN, I think it's like European something number and it, it's similar, it's like the European version of the of our UPC code. Um, and then uh, for the QR link, I'm just gonna put in to show you, I'm gonna put in our like our red cap 
And so this, this QR code here is just the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, same thing here with the data matrix, um, that value. But here below um, is the, this is an example of a QR code with a separate size and a link. So this is a 200 uh, pixel by 200 pixel QR code. Uh, this is the standard size for these. And then this is a, a, a larger size. And then I have the L here. So you can see when I hover over it, it gives me the cursor to click on it. And you can see that it already has a hyperlink to uh, our red cap page. So if I just click on that, it's gonna take me to the red cap page. Uh, in the documentation here, I'll scroll down to the bottom. This explains the uh, valid UPC uh, EA and UPC examples. So like this pattern here, um, I'm not gonna go into any of this. Uh, I'm just gonna show you that it's there. Uh, so if you have an EA, EAN 13, that means it's 13 digits. Um, you can also add like a, a check digit. There's more complexities to these. Um, there's also an add-on, you can have add-on digits. Um, for example, here you could have an EAN 13 plus two. And then this would be the format for that. You would have, um, I believe this is 13 characters and the last character is a question mark. And then you have uh, your plus two here. Um, and down here at the bottom, it, this has a, um, uh, oh, this, this is just a link for the QR code external module, which we have a video on already. Um, but here is the link for the article that explains the differences between code 39 and code 39 extended and then any more information on the code 128. So I figure if you're gonna be implementing a barcode in your project, you probably have an idea what kind of barcode you want already. Uh, most things are usually code 39 or um, QR or data matrix. The, you know, if you have something on like a small biospecimen vial or something like that, you wanna be able to pack a lot of data into a small space. Uh, so usually you wanna use the, the QR or data matrix um, barcode values. So this is how this is built. Um, it's just very easy using the action tags and I can, I'm gonna go into the project here. Um, And I'll just show you how I have this set up because in the front end, it might look like it's it's uh, a little easier, um, but I'm using a lot of the calc tag, uh, sorry, calc text fields. So I have, um, I have two fields here. I just have an example and then a QR link. Um, and then for example here, the code 39, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this value, this example value and I'm saying if uh, if example is blank, then just leave it blank. Or sorry, if example is not blank, then give me the example value. If it is blank, then just leave it blank. And then I'm I'm adding the um, barcodes action tag after that. So I'm pulling in the value for the field, and then I'm using the barcodes action tag to convert that value uh, to a barcode. Uh, because I'm not going to be able to edit that barcode value on the input directly. So I have to have a separate field that has a value. Um, and then I'm generating a barcode based off of that. And that might be, that's probably how you're going to, how you're probably going to use it anyway, because you might have a data entry form where you're putting in a study ID or a participant ID or something like that, an MRN. And in the following form, you're gonna want that as a barcode or you know, forms downstream, you're gonna have it as a barcode. So if you um, need to click on it, you have that value. Um, it's only, because it's only on the design view, or sorry, it's only on the data entry view or the survey. Um, if you print the screen, obviously the barcode is gonna be there. So um, this is really for on, on screen only. Like if you have something like a tablet, you know, you're in, in a clinic and you have an iPad, you're, you're pulling up that QR code for somebody to, to click on or have a, a barcode scanner, um, right there. So you would have to use it online. You're not, you wouldn't be using this for print, um, just to let you know. You could design a form that, 
is sort of a report, an instrument that is meant to be printed. And I've done that before with other things. Um, so that that's an option as well. And then I just have, these are all the different examples. And I'll put this uh, project XML up with the video. So that way everybody can download, you know, if you're interested in this, you can download uh, this project and it has all the examples for the barcodes. And then you can come in here and mess with any sizes you want here. You know, if you want to change this to 400 or anything like that. And this is the same thing. I'm using the QR link, uh, the calc text and the if statement. So I'm saying if the QR link field is not blank, give me the QR link value. And if it is blank, then just leave it blank. So it's pretty straightforward um, external module. And while I'm in here, I'll show you the action tags button um, that's separate. So you can see here that this is only showing you the action tags that are enabled um, and the ones that are standard for REDCap. So if you want to see all of your options and what exists with the external modules, you want to make sure you go to the external modules page and click on the action tags there to see everything that is um, linked to the external modules. I think this just has the external modules action tags, to be honest, let me check. Yeah, because there's, so um, this is all just for external modules. 